look at this next question here what is the mass structure given here what is the mass structure given here on this image this orange color arrow what is it pointing to this is pointing to a gray matter on either side of the third ventricle so this is the third ventricle here on either side of the third ventricle this structure this gray matter on either side of the third ventricle is a thalamus so you can see this is the left thalamus that we have left thalamus left thalamus you can see this is the caudate nucleus on either side abutting the frontal horn of lateral ventricle abutting the frontal horn of lateral ventricle is the caudate nucleus this is the lentiform nucleus the lentiform nucleus outer part is putamen inner part is globus pallidus this white matter bundle present between caudate nucleus and lentiform nucleus is anterior limb and this is the posterior limb of internal capsule so identify those structures so what is marked is the left thalamus left thalamus so caudate nucleus thalamus and the lentiform nucleus abutting the frontal horn of lateral ventricle will be caudate nucleus on either side of the third ventricle will be thalamus and the lentiform nucleus has outer putamen inner globus pallidus what is this structure posterior to third ventricle this is your pineal gland this is the pineal gland and what is this structure in the oxal horn of lateral ventricle this is your choroid plexus choroid plexus right so these are the different parts of the basal ganglia that you should remember so identify these structures let me see one last time what is a what is b c d e f g h if i ask you which is the site of hypertensive bleed remember the most common site of hypertensive bleed is putamen so you have to identify the putamen if i ask you which is involved in hunting down scoria hunting down scoria is atrophy of caudate nucleus so you have to identify the caudate nucleus this is the caudate nucleus if i ask you which is the sensory relay center all sensations relay in thalamus except the olfactory so you have to identify the thalamus sensory relay center this is the thalamus and if i ask you where are the corticospinal tracts passing corticospinal tracts passing they are passing through the posterior limb so this is the posterior limb the corticospinal tracts they pass through the posterior limb of the pineal capsule corticospinal tracts they are passing in the posterior limb of the pineal capsule melatonin production is pineal gland csf production is choroid plexus so they can give you this thing and you have to identify what are these okay so these are the different structures in the basal ganglia now look at this image lot what is this image then what do you think is this image showing you what is this structure is it midbrain pons or medulla let me see if you can answer this thank you puneet suraj right can you just tell me quickly what is this image showing you what is the arrow pointing to is it midbrain pons medulla or spinal cord is it midbrain pons medulla or spinal cord if you see carefully you can see this is the basilar artery this is the basilar artery if you are seeing the basilar artery if you are seeing the basilar artery this structure becomes pons this structure becomes pons so the important landmark that differentiates midbrain from pons is basilar artery and once you have identified the basilar artery this structure anterior to pons is your prepontine sister prepontine sister this csf space posterior to pons is fourth ventricle so the csf space anterior to pons becomes prepontine sister and posterior to pons becomes fourth ventricle these are your mastoid air cells right so these are mastoid air cells these are your lateral sulcus on either side these are the lateral sulcus right so all of this the cilia visceral lateral sulcus these are important and this is the vermis and this is the cerebellar hemispheres that you have on either side okay so this is the different structures you know this by now okay look at this next question here what is the mass structure given here what is the mass structure given here on this image this orange color arrow what is it pointing to this is pointing to a gray matter on either side of the third ventricle so this is the third ventricle here on either side of the third ventricle this structure this gray matter on either side of the third ventricle is a thalamus so you can see this is the left thalamus that we have left thalamus left thalamus you can see this is the